Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to another video of our deploying microservices with Docker video series. And in this video, we'll be talking about deploying an ASP.NET Core application using multi-stage Docker file. In our last video, if you remember, we were deploying an application using a Docker file and we also saw how efficient it was comparing to the Docker run command that we used in our first video of this series. And in this video, we'll see how to even more efficiently create a Docker file to reduce the size of the image that we are creating. So what is this multi-stage Docker file all about? One of the most challenging thing about building images is to keep the image size down, which is nothing but the image that we are creating our own. In our last video, we created an ASP.NET Core image and that was actually of a huge size. We didn't even notice the size of that particular image, but it was actually a huge size. The reason being, it actually contained the whole SDK inside it. So each instruction in the Docker file adds a layer to the image. And it is very important that we clean up these artifacts if we don't really want that particular layer. I mean, in our last video, it was actually a mess because the Docker file that we created actually had an SDK, like a full blown SDK inside it. And we just built the particular application and it was running fine without any problem. But that's all good, but actually, that's not the right way of doing it. In fact, it didn't even had some of the things that we really required to run the application itself in a straight away manner. So those things we can reduce using this multi-stage Docker file. And it actually uses a pattern called as builder pattern, which helps us to do reducing the size of image that we can create in the Docker. All right, so let's jump into this multi-stage Docker file creation in this video. But before that, as I told you, if you remember in our last video, we created an image which was of 668 MB. And we are going to reduce this at least half of the size in this particular video. We'll see how it actually goes. So the multi-stage build is going to look something like this. You can see that here it has got exactly the same kind of uh, Docker file which we created earlier, but just that it has got even more stages. And you can see that we actually created something like this in our last video. Like it has a uh, ASP.NET Core 6.0 focal, but we didn't really create something called as as base. This is new. And you can see that after this base, it's also adding some users over here just to, you know, give them more permission. And then uh, you can also see that we are also using a another as build stage here. So there is a as base, as build, and then there is as publish and as final. So all these things that you are seeing over here are all called as stages in the uh, Docker file. And that's what is the multi-stage uh, Docker file that we are creating over here. That's why the name you have got over here. So as you can see over here, it is gonna take the base stage and using that particular base stage, uh, it has got that ASP.NET applications runtime over here and then you can see that it is using a build using the sdk so this is the sdk that we used in our earlier video to run our application uh, so what it's doing is basically it's going to do a dotnet restore and then it is going to do a dotnet build to build our application and once the application has been built it is going to do a publish in another stage over here. So what it's doing is like it's doing a from build, which is nothing but this one. It's going to use this particular stage, which is like we can put like something like this, like one, two, three, four. So there are like four stages. So basically this from base as publish is nothing but it is going to use the second stage into this stage. And then it is going to do a dot net publish to publish into this particular folder, like slash app slash publish. And then what it, the last stage it's gonna do is, it's gonna use the base, which is this one, the first stage, it is gonna use over here. And then it's gonna use the working directory as slash app. And then it's gonna copy all the files that we created over here. See that? It's gonna copy into the container. And then in the entry point, it is gonna run the application, which is nothing but our mini app. Uh, demo or DLL file. So this way our application actually starts running. So this is exactly what is going to happen in the multi-stage build. So this is really, really awesome to see how it actually works and how cool it is. And again, I'm not really going to be building this whole multi-stage Docker file myself because that's going to be something you can do it by hand coding it. But with the plugins that we saw earlier, even in our 
Mac operating system. That's exactly what we're gonna be using over here as well. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm gonna jump into my VS Code IDE. All right, so this is my VS Code and we were using this Docker file earlier in our videos. But now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna rename this guy to probably Docker file dot like local or something like that, which I'm not gonna be using. This is just for my local deployment. But from production deployment, I'm gonna use a different Docker file this time. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna do control shift P, where you can see that it brings me up this add Docker file to workspace option, which is gonna be something coming from our Docker plugin that we already installed even in my Mac operating system. That's exactly what is there in my Windows operating system this time. And I'm gonna choose the ASP.NET Core as the application and operating system is Linux. And I'm gonna use the same port, which is 5000 and is asking me whether I'm gonna include the Docker Compose file, not yet, because I'm gonna do that in a later point of time. So I'm just gonna hit no. And you will see that it is asking me the Docker launch configuration task already exists. Do you want to overwrite that? It's all right. So I'm gonna overwrite that. And you will see that this is exactly the same Docker file generated, which I actually showed you on the PowerPoint before. So you can see that it has got all the stages like base stage, build stage, publish stage and the final stage. So this way it is gonna create the multi-stage build for us. And now I'm gonna run this application in this particular uh, build and we'll see how it actually works. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over here. Uh, so let me control C, it's not working. So I'm just gonna go uh, CD uh, minimal app, all right. And a spin at core, there we go. And I'm gonna clear this, let's do the LS which is all good. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna do exactly the same thing. So docker build hyphen T, and this time I'm gonna say ASP.NET Core Multi, just to differentiate. So this is a new image altogether. And I'm gonna use an hyphen F parameter this time, which is gonna be for the file where my Docker files are gonna be sitting, which is gonna be sitting on this particular folder. So this is the Docker file that we have, Docker file, yeah? So probably we can also say something like, let's rename this to Docker file dot prod, something like that, like for production. Um, so you can see Docker file dot prod, this one. So this is what I'm gonna be using for my production deployment. And once I hit enter, oops, sorry about that, and uh, let me add the context, which is gonna be the dot. And once I hit enter, you will see that it is actually doing a multi-staged uh, operation for us over here. So like all the operations are successfully happening with one by one stage. I actually did myself even before this demo and that's why it is actually doing a cache operation. So you can remove the cache and then you can do it yourself. But because I have already did that before our demonstration, it is using the cache operation for us to do the uh, build pretty quickly. If not, it's gonna take a bit of time. And now let's do the Docker images and we'll see what has happened. You can see that as promised, this ASP.NET Core, which we created like, you know, last video, it was 668 MB. But do you see the size this time is just 228 MB. So we have released almost like 400 MB or 440 MB uh, so far in just this particular ASP.NET Core multi-stage Docker file. So this is how you can see that it reduces the size of our image tremendously. And this is exactly what has been used even in the production grade environment because this is how we can reduce the size of the images and deploy much faster on the containers and run them up. So that's it guys, once again, thank you for watching this video and hopefully you now got the idea of the multi-stage build. In our next video, we'll talk about networking.